Hey y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have some paint that I got from Walmart. I have it in brown, I also have it in white, and then I have it in black. I also have a Sharpie, and then I have two paint brushes, one to outline it and one to actually fill in. We're gonna go ahead and get started. As you can see, I have the fleece in the color blue. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this flat, align all the seams so everything could be in order. I need this to lay down perfectly flat so I can do what I need to do. Yes, I will be creating a cookie monster. I will only be doing the eyes and the mouth and I'll be putting cookies on it. First step I'm gonna take is I'm gonna go ahead and draw the eyeballs of Cookie Monster. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the first eyeball. I'll fast forward it through the second one, but y'all can just watch along as I draw this. Next step, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing out the mouth and I'm going to make Cookie Monster Mouth Cricket on purpose because I want it to seem as if he's being greedy and eating a cookie with his mouth twisted. But y'all can go ahead and watch this as I draw it. Now that I have the mouth done, I forgot to step on the eyeballs, so I'm going to go ahead and put the actual circle part in the middle of the eyeballs, and next we'll get straight to painting. Let's get started with painting. So this step right here, what I'm pretty much going to do is just do a really, really light outline of the mouth with the black paint, and I most definitely use the smaller tip brush but I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this because I really don't want to talk y'all head off So I just realized that the paint may seep through. So what I did is I just got a piece of wax paper. You can use whatever you want to use. And I just put it in between the shirt so that if the paint do seep through, it'll go on the paper instead of the back side of the shirt. Now that I have the mouth outline, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the actual mouth. I want it filled with black paint. And I'm gonna speed this up as well because once again, I don't wanna tuck y'all head off. Now that the mouth is complete, we're gonna go ahead and work on the eyeballs at this point. 
like I said, we're just going to do a really light outline so that when we actually start doing the painting, we'll have boundaries to follow. step we're going to actually go ahead and start filling in the eyeballs with white paint but this actual paint right here i really don't think i like it so i really think i'm going to switch paint because this is not doing me justice but stay tuned you'll see what i do I kind of skipped through the whole step of me actually doing both eyeballs, but they're completed. Now I'm going to draw the cookie. Well, I'm pretty much drawing a circle so I can have an outline of how I want the cookie to look and where I want it to actually go. Once I do this outline, because I want my browns to show up extremely well, I'm going to do a base paint with white. And as you can see, I just put some paint down. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the circle. And I'm actually going to take paint out of the circle because I don't, like, I've never seen an actual circle chocolate chip cookie. So I'm going to get kind of messy with it, but it's going to be extremely creative. But if you just keep watching, you will see what I do. now that the cookie is done I'm actually these white spots down here they're actually cookie crumbs but as you can see I have a blow dry I'm pretty much drying the paint so I can see what I need to go over and what I don't now that my white paint has dried I'm gonna go ahead and take the brown paint and get started on my cookie if I can get this paint open, it was extremely hard to get open. I don't know why, but it was hard. I was struggling. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some paint down. I'm going to take my paintbrush and pretty much go over the white with the brown. Like I said, the white was just a base so that the brown can show, show out. Because the brown, putting it directly on the blue, it wasn't going to show too well. So I'm just going to pretty much fill in the white. And then I'm going to actually do the drops as well.
as you can see i still blow dried it again so i can go ahead to the next step but this step right here is actually the unique part i'm just taking some black paint and i'm just going to put some dots in it so it can look as if there are chocolate chips inside of the cookie i'll also put some inside the crumbs that are falling as well just stay tuned 